I reckon you just got to like it or be a glutton for punishment. <laughs> Sitting on the front porch of his home outside Keenansville, Florida, Billy Davis says he's been a cowboy all my life. And so was my daddy, and so was his daddy, and so was his daddy. About 45 miles southeast of Kissimmee on US 441, Keenansville is in the heart of Florida's cattle country, surrounded by large ranches, including one nearly 300,000 acres in size. Cattle ranching in Florida is huge and figures very strongly in Florida's history. Florida's what I call the modern economy, post-Civil War, cattle ranching was the basis for that. Outreach coordinator for the Florida Folklife Program, Bob Stone, spent two years traveling the state talking to cowboys, ranchers, and their families for an exhibit showcasing the state's cattle culture. From a few livestock brought here by 16th century Spanish explorers, Florida's cow population today is estimated to be nearly 2 million head, on ranches from homestead to the panhandle. Most of the men who work the herds are hired as needed for a day or two at a time, and often that day begins early in the morning. Most places you're, you're in the saddle at 7 o'clock, which means, you know, if you live 20 miles or 30 miles away, you got to get up and get your horse fed, tacked up, and your chores done, and then drive to the ranch, you know, so that, yeah, it's, it's usually early morning. Cowboy artist Eldon Lux owned his own ranch out west till hard times in the 1980s. Now works various jobs in the industry, as do many of his friends. My day work, I paint, I still trim and shoe a few horses. I've also got a saddle shop. And... I can run a loader a little bit, you know, but if I don't ride my horse two or three days a week, I'm hard to live with. I tell you, you'll not meet a, a group of uh, harder working people. And one thing I've learned is this work is so dangerous. Brood cows weigh 1,000 pounds, bulls weigh 2,000. You don't think about it being a dangerous job. You just try to be in the right place at the right time. And I mean, agriculture itself is a high risk job. If, if you got a good crew, you got people know what they're doing, and you work together, why well, you can eliminate a lot of the danger and the risk. You know, all of us can do different things, but they're just, they ain't, they ain't nothing like cowboy and all their else. Billy Davis says one thing that keeps him in the saddle is the feeling of being close to nature and the outdoors. Oh man, you have no idea unless you lived it. Early in the morning, fog laying across them palmettos in the piney woods, and your dog's holding up a bunch of cattle and you and your riding partner sit there and cattle coming out of there, you know, and you sit real quiet and at that time, you're not thinking of bills you got to pay or nothing else. There's a rodeo nearly every weekend somewhere in Florida. Cattle people share a strong sense of community, a long history of families working together over generations. When people get concerned about what this world's coming to, if you look into the cattle ranching community, you know, you'll have a pretty secure feeling about there's a lot of good still going on. People are doing a lot of good work and pulling together as communities have for, for centuries. To see the young people, that's one of the things that's impressed me most is they know what they want to do and they're working hard and they come out of high school, you know, the good ones are they're ready to go. Another cowboy who's becoming known as an artist, Sean Sexton, has a small ranch near Vero Beach. He sees the exhibit and the renewed interest in Florida's cattle industry as a way to heal the disconnect between Americans and the people who feed us. It's probably not even 2% of us anymore. It's 1.8% of us are doing all of this on behalf of the other 98%. Everybody 100 years back had a farmer for a forebear. Right now we're determining what real value is in our culture. What we thought was value is turning out to not be value. A lot of the things that we devalued, farm commodities, those things are ultimately going to find a, a real value in this world that we're living in. You know, basically food and all of its sources, those are things that have always been the stepchild in our culture. I'm from the West, and I'm proud of my heritage from the West. I'm also proud to say that there's no place east of the Mississippi River that I know of that has the tradition and the ranching heritage and the pride, the cowboy pride, that this part of Florida does. I'm Bill Dudley. With funding from the Florida Department of State Division of Cultural Affairs, this report was produced by the Florida Humanities Council. Visit us on the web at floridahumanities.org.